you guys. Um, I'm sitting there. I'm doing something. It's really cold in my room. And I'm well, trying to snuggle up and be comfy. Um, I just woke up about an hour ago. I was just showering at um. So, yeah. But, um, hold on. I wanted to talk to you guys about a subject that I find society kind of buries back in its mind. Like something that not the whole world is aware of that happens to everyday people. Um, I don't know if you like to hear the music or not. I don't know. I think I might just be too loud, but. <laughs> But, um, no, honestly, though, like, I find one thing that's not talked about a lot is suicide and self-harm in the younger generation. Like, this generation here, the teenagers now in this generation are, um, I'm sorry, hold on. I was eating gum and it didn't work for me. So, um, yeah. But, I find it's something that we should talk about more. Like, I don't know if you guys think that too, but I feel like it's not... I forgot the word there, but I feel like it's not talked about enough. And that's why you have all these teen suicides. You self-harming and wanting to kill themselves. People say that it's just for attention, but it's not. There's so many other reasons. And, um, like me, I've been diagnosed with depression, with anxiety, bulimia, anorexia. I was diagnosed with anorexia and 13. Got through that. Uh, 14, 15, I was clean for the longest time. I became bulimic again. And, well, I became bulimic at that point. And um, I still battled with bulimia. Um, my anxiety. I'm on medication for it, but there's a lot that goes through my head about it, everything like that. And my depression. My number one problem. My number one problem. Depression. Depression during me. And I've been playing my music. Because I have a cord here. But, um, I don't know if you guys can see me. But. That's my butterfly project. Over. The cut I did a couple days ago. And. I don't know if I can show you guys my light on this one. Um, I'm not wearing socks. Um, I'm not, I'm not wearing socks, I don't judge. Okay, I'm gonna hold that for a second. Um, so my, my messy room, but I don't know if you guys can see that. Like, Putting my laptop. Put your thing. Um, so I get a better angle. But I can actually see what I'm doing. Um, there. Right there. Um, let's see what I'm doing. Okay. I need help. But, yeah. No, I'm just scared. Um, I've honestly been. I'm not gonna make this video all about me. I'm not trying to make this video all about me. I'm trying to reach out to people that need help or that understand what other people go through. Like, especially people. People who tell other people who kill themselves. Like, 
you have no idea how big of a toll that those two words have on somebody. Like, honestly, because, um, I'm not gonna get personal with this, but, um, I just feel like it's really immature. And people who, um, tell people to go cut themselves, go slit your wrist, go die, go kill yourself. No one likes you. No one's gonna miss you. You're better off dead. We would be better off dead without you. No one needs you. You're a waste of space. Nobody loves you. You should just go kill yourself. People take that seriously. They really do. People take that seriously. And it's not something to be proud of. It's not something to be proud of that you cut yourself. There's people out there that do it for attention. People out there that will cut themselves and then say like, and they'll show it up. Like, I know a person who, um, not gonna mention names, but they were attention seekers. Like, they used to cut themselves, and I never knew personally that they cut themselves. I never knew that. But, because we didn't go to the same school. But at school, apparently, from a lot of people that, have, that were telling me, he was cutting himself. Well, they were cutting themselves. He, she, I don't know what his name is. I think he went tranny. No one tells me anything. And, um, he used to cut himself. And he didn't try to hide it. Like, me. I go to school, I'm wearing a sweater. And I don't take my sweater off all day. And if I have to write, I pull up the sleeve. Because I have this thing. That arm. That is the arm. Let's go. Putting the damage on it. This one. Clean. Look at that ink ripple. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyway, one more. It's horrible. <sighs> so, now that I get all that off my chest, I can see it. Yeah. But yeah, anyone wants to talk, um, leave a comment down below, subscribe, subscribe, right there, right there, I don't think I have any subscribers yet, I haven't checked, but right there, it's right there, click the damn button, go get a free cookie, or smoothie, I make more. I guess I might do some about five minutes after I finish this video. But yeah, give me a thumbs up. And subscribe. So I haven't gotten the whole webcam thing out. It's confusing, okay? No, I'm sorry. But, um, yeah. That's pretty much it. I'm gonna make a smoothie now. And if I get enough likes and get enough comments, here's my goal. If I get five subscribers, if I don't already have five, if I already have five, I want five more. Five more subscribers, and I'll give you a free tour of my house. Check out the attic. I ain't going up there. I'll go downstairs in my basement, but I ain't going up there. No. I watched too many horror movies. I ain't going in the attic. But, uh, I actually go my brother's room. Uh, but, yeah, um, do you have some more? I'm not gonna upload it because it's almost 10 minutes. So, love you all. Subscribe, thumbs up, comment down below. Yeah. Bye.